I would introduce him as the Pied Piper of the band world. The kids follow him. And if you can get, regardless of age, any large number of people to follow you, there's a special talent there. Hello, my name is Scott Freeby. I am the director of bands at Dwight D. Eisenhower and Susan B. Anthony Middle Schools in USD 383. I'm also an assistant director of bands at Manhattan High School. So my day is filled with fun and excitement with young people. I truly enjoy working with young people and seeing the vitality of their lives be enhanced by music and the connections that we make through music. A big part of my teaching career has been to develop this sense of multidisciplinary teaming where I work with other disciplines in the schools to bring idea to fruition about some historical event or some idea that the kids have had. So that's where the wisdom comes in. And Mr. Freebie is so wise and so smart. Um, he could pull great musicians out of all of us. And I really think he works very hard with what he does in being creative. Scott has a way of making the transition from a junior high mentality of let's give you something to do to transfer them to let's make some music and, and play with good sound and good tone. And that's, that's unusual. I have the greatest kids on the planet and I truly appreciate learning from my kids. A kid will come in and they'll have a great day and then the next day they'll be depressed because somebody said something and, and you have to be somebody who can adjust to the, the nature of, of hormones. Mr. Freebie did change my life. After two weeks of band, I went up to him and I said that I was, that band just might not be for me and that I was looking at um, quitting after only two weeks. So he called me into his office after school. Get a couple seconds later, he handed me a tuba and I immediately fell in love with it. And I'm still playing it to this day. And that's what I'm hoping to do for my students when I get out and I become a teacher. As musicians, we are critical and creative thinkers. As musicians, we are self-directed learners. We have to, we have to go home and practice. Uh, we're community contributors. We put on concerts for the community. And we're quality producers. All 21st century learning skills that develop in different mediums and different ways as education brings them out. I taught out here in Idaho for seven years, and I had three students go on and um, become band directors as well. And I remember in those first few years, you know, when teaching is way hard, um, I had a lot of questions and just there was so much to do to get my classroom set up and so much to make happen. And one of the first people I called was Mr. Freebie. He was totally willing to help me and get me going. And I bring up that I have three students that have become music educators because a lot of the way I taught was the way Mr. Freebie taught. And so um, that energy and that love of music and all of those things that he taught me have been imparted onto them as well. Mr. Freebie has set an example to generations who have been under his baton to not only care about others, but to live a passionate life. Um, hands down, I can say he is the most passionate teacher I have ever had. Teaching is um, where we touch the future. We're not just teaching a subject. I teach people how to understand music. And it's that critical statement, I teach people, that needs to be first and foremost in any teacher's mind. That's probably the best compliment I can give to anybody is that what we see is him. And I think that's a goal of all of us, to, to do what we can do to the best of our abilities and have it come out naturally. And his does, yeah.